The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Forty-one years ago, a struggling couple arrived in America. They left their country, entrusted their two children, which they wouldn't see for another five years, in the care of family members to come here to the land of opportunity. It was inconvenient for them to find out that they were pregnant with their third because both had to work multiple jobs to make ends meet. Some would say it would have been easier for them to have an abortion. But this couple had to make a difficult choice. Protect the life of their child or always wonder what might have been. John Greenliff Whittier wrote, of all the sad words of the tongue or the pen, the saddest are these, it might have been. Each child born and unborn has the potential to open up our world and take us to places and spaces we have never imagined. Each living child carries with him or her the potential for greatness. A child born today may become a doctor that cures cancer or Alzheimer's. That child may be the astronaut that takes the world to Mars or a CEO that leads a global business. That child may become a friend that saves a peer from suicide or a mom who strengthens her family, a neighbor that volunteers and eradicates hunger or a teacher who inspires a struggling student. Every time we kill a child through abortion, we kill our potential. Every time we kill a child, we, all of us, suffer. We lose a little of ourselves and a whole lot of our future. We, we strip a child from their God-given potential when we, as a society, accept abortion as health care. My fellow Americans, we cannot accept what might have been. We won't know what might have been if we allow an organization to convince our pregnant women that they have no choice but to abort the life and the potential within them. We cannot accept what might have been. We will not know what might have been when an organization led to women, women from being empowered so they can profit. They prefer for women to be victims because they knew, know that a truly empowered woman profits herself, her community, and everyone she touches. We cannot accept what might have been. When those organizations that profit allow our children in the inner cities to feel that they can only be empowered with a life by ending a life, no, we will not accept that. We will not accept what might have been. Instead of listening to the haunting refrains of what might have been, we must instead focus on what is to come. During the other march in Washington last week, I saw the picture of a young black teenage girl in the, in the crowd who was holding a sign that said, I survived Roe Wade. <laughs> that young woman beat the odds and was born into a world too far often that favors the abortion of a black girl instead of the life of a black girl. She could have become part of what might have been, but today she is instead part of what is and what is to come. I can't wait to see what she and thousands like her become in the years ahead. She may be our astronaut. She may be that doctor that cures cancer. She may be a mother, a teacher, a daughter, and a friend. She represents our what is to come.
41 years ago, that couple from Haiti could have made the choice to abort, but they didn't. They chose life. They didn't choose what might have been. They chose what is to come. They went and followed and fostered that life and the future and the dreams that baby would bring. I'm certain that this couple would never have thought that that child would become the first black female Republican ever elected to Congress. More than that, <laughs> more than that, they would have never dreamed that she would grow up to fight for all children and those yet to be born. We all have talents, we all have gifts, we all have a purpose, and all of this for the benefit of us and our society. All we are asking is that we no longer settle for what might have been. We embrace the possibilities of that life to come. The life, the life of those unborn have the potential and deserve the chance because they will dream, they will create, they will add their colors to the fabric of our lives. May God bless our women that are struggling with unplanned pre pregnancies. May we love them. May we embrace them, when we, may we help them discover their power and their potential. But may we never, ever allow our funds to pay for the death of young children. May God spare them, may God bless you for being here today, and may God bless our pro-life United States of America.